Okay, YouTube, so this is what the truck looks like with the original halogen bulbs on low beam. That's the high beam. So we're gonna use this to compare what it looks like with the new LEDs that we're gonna be installing very shortly. All right, guys, so this is the set of bulbs we're gonna be using. They are from Farron. Um, these are the fog lights. These are the high and the low beams. I got them both on Amazon. I will post the link in the description below. So let's open the boxes up real quick, right? Real quick. So H11 is what we're going to be using for the low beams. The 9005s are for the high beams. And then these H11s are what we're going to be using for the fog lights as well. So open it up, right? Pretty simple. You've got the um, H11s and they are labeled. So you can't mess up, obviously, right? Right, H H11 right here as well. Obviously, these are gonna be the 9005s. Right, 9005s. The fog lights are H11s as well. But well, they do also come with this like um, little bag they have an owner's manual and stuff inside. Not really a manual, more like a, I guess so, user manual, right? So I don't think we'll really need it though. It's pretty self-explanatory. All right, guys, so this might sound kind of silly, but just real quick, in case you guys don't know, these are the high beams and these are the low beams. Pretty sure everybody knows these are the fog lights, but yeah, low beams, high beams. Okay, so now that we know where the low beam and the high beams are located on the outside, I'm gonna show you guys where they are on the inside. So the first big dust cover that you see right here is gonna be for, sorry, for the high beams. And this guy back there is gonna be for the low beams, right? Because remember, these are the highs, those are the lows. So the low beam bulb is gonna be in there, behind that dust cover. High beams are gonna be right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these dust covers first and remove the old halogen bulbs. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take off this dust cover right here. Um, it's pretty easy to do. All you gotta do is grab it and turn it to the left, right? Counterclockwise, should pop out. Put that to the side and then let me show you guys what the inside of this housing will look like you guys see that bulb right there we're just gonna grab it turn it counterclockwise as well and it should come out turn to the left remember guys this is the high beam so there you go you got it out right now you're gonna want to go ahead and grab a flathead and to remove this clip, just press up. And it should come out fairly easy. Try not to break anything, obviously. There you go, right? So we got the high beam out. So you guys can see right there it says nine zero zero five right nine double oh five so we're gonna go ahead and grab our bulb pop it back in there okay so we've got our bulb here right this is the led that we're gonna be replacing in there you want to double check and make sure that you have the nine double oh five nine zero zero five whatever you want to call it and notice it says right here not work try to flip the plug over right so there's a negative and a positive side okay if you plug this in and it doesn't turn on, simply take it off, flip it 180 degrees, plug it back in and see if that works, okay? You wanna make sure you do that before you put everything back together and have to remove it. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and just connect it. I'm gonna do it, so there's two sides, right? One doesn't have any marks. This one says plus and minus. We're gonna go ahead and use this side facing up towards the clip and cross our fingers, right? There you go, it's in there. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the light. We're gonna go switch the high beam on and see if that does it. Okay, so that worked, that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and just snap it back in there and move on to the low beam. Also, one thing to take note of, right? You guys can see that there is a small tooth here and two big teeth, right? The stock one was the same, a small tooth and two big teeth. So you wanna make sure that you put it back in the same way that this bulb was, all right? You can peek in there and take a look, but, um, shouldn't be too hard it's really only gonna go in one way okay so i want to talk to you guys about something so now that we actually have the light bulb installed right you guys see how it's a little bit slanted this way so they actually recommend for the bulb to be up this way so vertical right up and down um so we're gonna go ahead and actually remove this guy and I'll show you guys how we can adjust it because um, um, I'm kind of OCD. So if that doesn't bother you, it's not a big deal, but it does bother me. Um, I do want it to be straight up. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so we got it back out, right? So in the box, right? You guys remember that little plastic bag? There was a little Ellen key in there, okay? So this um, is exactly for the problem that we just ran into, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and look for this little hole, turn it counterclockwise to loosen up the locking mechanism. And that is gonna allow you to move this so that when it locks into place, it will be the way that you want it, right? So in our case, it was tilted this way. So we're gonna go ahead and move the locking mechanism that way as well. So it'll match up and it'll be vertical. Like I said, because I'm a little OCD about stuff like that. So there you go. All right, we're gonna put it back in there and check it out. Awesome. Okay, so as you guys can see, it is pretty damn spot on, right? So like I said, I mean, if it doesn't bother you, it's not a big deal, but it did bother me, so it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not gonna take you forever. Okay, so I actually have a tip for, you know, you guys out there that have bigger hands um kind of like i do because my hands just don't seem to fit behind these wires um what we're gonna actually do is we are going to actually go down towards sorry right here towards uh, where the uh, plastic cover is at, right? And we're gonna use an eight millimeter socket to remove these guys. So it can give us just enough room to work and actually attack the light bulb from down here. Okay, so after we go ahead and remove a few of these eight millimeter bolts, you're gonna have enough access to reach in and grab that sucker right there, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take it out. We're gonna do the same thing that we did for the high beams. And um, remember to check for polarity, make sure that the light bulb works before you put everything back together. Okay, there we go. So not that hard. As you guys can see, up here 
it's going to say H11, right, and a bunch of other numbers. But um, that's how you know what kind of bulb it is. It says right there, H11, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna grab, instead of our 9005 bulb, the H11 bulb, right? So here it is, right? Read it and weep, H11. It's gonna go back in the same. Um, remember, check for polarity. Give it a test run before you put everything back together. So this one's the same thing. It's got a plus and a minus on one side and the other side is blank. I'm gonna put this side with the clip over it um, because that's what I did last time and it seemed to work, so. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, so the bolt is in. Just leave it right there. Turn on the headlights. Bang, so they work. Now you can put it back inside and put the dust cover back on and move on to the other side. Okay, so the fog lights are gonna be pretty easy to change, right? We're right under the light. So as you can see, this is gonna be the light bulb right there, sorry. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull that clip down. It should come off pretty easy in comparison to the other two. All right, so you're gonna, sorry guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it and out she comes, right? Take off this clip and it'll come right out. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, right? This is the OEM fog light, H11. Right, and this is the new LED fog light, H11. It's pretty simple. Take out the old one, put the new one in, and bada bing, bada boom. Okay guys, so, it's pretty cool, right? We got the LED fog lights, the LED low beams, the high beams are installed as well. Just to give you guys like a side by side, right? Pretty sick. Okay. Okay guys, so to do the passenger side, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the driver side. The only difference is that you are gonna have to work around the air box. Um, there should be enough space though, and it's not a big deal, right? So as you can see, right, we have the dust cover right here and the other dust covers back there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, work the high beams through the hood and the low beams, I'm gonna go ahead and attack them through the bottom down here like I did on the driver's side. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to do this because it's the same exact thing as the other side, but after I'm finished, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, the difference from the original halogens and the LEDs lighting up this area back here. So should be pretty cool. Be back short. Bang. There's the LEDs on both sides. Yes, sir, she looks mean. Crispy. And now these are the high beams. Okay, YouTube, now let's see what it looks like with LEDs on both sides. Low beams. Jesus, holy moly, look at that. Just beautiful. High beams. Jesus. Just absolutely night and day difference, guys. It's 
Saints.